Hi YouTube, it's a hot, sunny day in Puertas, Puertas, Puerto Morelos, Mexico. I think I've had too much sun. I'm hiding out in the cool at the moment. Still in some physical discomfort as well from this side strain. Having a relaxed and blessed day. Having a relaxed and blessed life. This lifetime is it's pretty awesome. I'm sure they have not all been so, and I have not always been so fortunate. feel very, very fortunate in this moment, despite the physical discomfort. Today's lesson, lesson 106. Let me be still and listen to the truth. The only place that I can access the truth, if you want a three-dimensional idea of that and it's in the vertical rather than the horizontal really it transcends even this reality but that's one way of imagining it the cross the vertical and the horizontal meet in this moment here right now where i can be still and listen to the truth i'll read you a little bit from today's lesson if you will lay aside the ego's voice however loudly it may seem to call if you will not accept its petty gifts that give you nothing that you really want. If you will listen with an open mind that has not told you what salvation is, then you will hear the mighty voice of truth, quiet in power, strong in stillness, and completely certain in its messages. That is what I've experienced throughout this lifetime, that the voice of truth, the voice of God, the voice of spirit is very quiet, undramatic, undemonstrative, uh, but with great conviction and certainty if I'm listening for it. But the ego's main way of attracting my attention is by being loud, by being vociferous, by being dramatic, by being over the top. And I have to be still to go underneath that or above that, however you want to visualize it, to hear something else. Today's lesson goes on, listen. And hear your father speak to you through his appointed voice. I've mentioned before the Course poetically uses the biblical way of seeing God as a, a male figure, but it's, it's poetry rather than literal. Of course, God cannot be gender specific. It's a, a poetic device. Don't let it put you off. Or do, if you need to. Listen and hear your father speak to you through his appointed voice, which silences the thunder of the meaningless. There's so many amazing phrases in this book. The thunder of the meaningless. That is this world. The thunder of the meaningless. And shows the way to peace to those who cannot still, who cannot see. Be still today and listen to the truth. Be not deceived by voices of the dead which tell you they have found the source of life and offer it to you for your belief. Attend them not, but listen to the truth. Be not afraid today to circumvent the voices of the world. Walk lightly past their meaningless persuasion. Hear them not, be still today and listen to the truth. Go past all things which do not Speak of him who holds your happiness within his hand, held out to you in welcome and in love. Hear one voice today. That is the instruction for the day. And it also says that every single time I spend five minutes meditating today, a thousand minds are saved. This course is very, very effective on the level of mind and it will heal in ways that I can't even imagine and people that I will, on this level, never even meet. And every single person that participates in that kind of activity contributes to that healing in the material world. To sit in silence seems meaningless, but in the one connected place of one mind, there couldn't be anything more important. I'm very still today, I'm listening. I'm listening and I'm receiving guidance. And on this level, the level of form, it's surprising me because it indicates that there may be some geographical movement that I was not anticipating, but that's all part of the stage character's 
scripted journey anyway. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that deeper level where we're all connected, where we're all one, where you and I exist in one bounteous, beautiful space that cannot be detracted from, denigrated or destroyed by any of the machinations of this crazy world. It's still there, it's peaceful there. The poet Rumi, the mystic Rumi, the Islamic mystic Rumi described it as a field. He said, beyond ideas of right and wrong, there is a field, I'll meet you there. Walking backwards, the knowledge of the tree of good and evil, back to the place where there is perfection, there is paradise, not in a literal sense, but in a connected sense of holism and oneness. I love you all so much. Subscribe to the videos if you have not already done so. I'll see you soon.